dear learners welcome to my youtube channel and in today's presentation we are going to see the syllabus of the subject pharmaceutics of first year d pharmacy so in this presentation we are going to see the theory syllabus of pharmaceutics subject new syllabus okay but before starting to our today's presentation if you have still not subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe by clicking on subscribe button for latest videos and updates so let us start with our today's presentation so in pharmaceutical subject total 7 chapters are there we will see one by one each chapter and what are the contents of each chapter so the first chapter is in the first chapter we are going to see the history of the profession of pharmacy in india okay we are going to see the history of the profession of pharmacy in india in relation to the pharmacy education industry pharmacy practice and various professional associations in the next point we are going to see in this chapter that is pharmacy as a career okay then the next point that is pharmacopoeia we are going to see the pharmacopoeia in this we are going to study the introduction to ip bp usp and extra pharmacopoeia that is ip means indian pharmacopoeia then bp means british pharmacopoeia usp means united state pharmacopoeia okay then the next point that we are going to study in the first chapter is the silent features of indian pharmacopoeia so this is about the first chapter then the second chapter we are going to study in pharmaceutics that is packaging materials okay so in this chapter we are going to study the types selection criteria advantages disadvantages of different packaging materials like glass plastic metal and rubber so these points we are going to study in this second chapter that is packaging materials so the next chapter is the pharmaceutical aids okay chapter number 3 is pharmaceutical aids in this we are going to study the organoleptic agents that is the coloring flavoring and sweetening agents we are going to study about the coloring flavoring and sweetening agents then the next point that we are going to study in this chapter is the preservatives so the information regarding preservatives that is definition the types of preservatives with examples and its uses so these points we are going to study in the third chapter that is pharmaceutical aids so the next chapter that is chapter number 4 is the unit operations okay so in this unit operations we are going to study the definition then objectives and applications principles construction working of different equipments that is in size reduction we are going to study about the hammer mill and ball mill then in size separation we are going to study the classification of powders according to the indian pharmacopoeia then we are going to study the cyclone separator then next point is the sieves and standard of sieves then next we are going to study is the mixing okay in this we are going to study the double cone blender turbine mixer triple roller mill and silver sun mixer homogenizer then the next point that we are going to study in this chapter 4 is the filtration in this we are going to study the theory of filtration then membrane filter and sinter glass filter then next point is the dry in this we are going to study the working of fluidized bed dryer and process of freeze dry and the next point that we are going to study is the extraction okay in extraction we are going to study the definition classification of extraction 
methods and applications then the next chapter that we are going to study in this we are going to study about the tablets okay the different coated and uncoated tablets then various modified tablets that is sustained release extended release fast dissolving and multi layer etc then we are going to study about the capsules okay the hard and soft gelatin capsules then we are going to study the next point in this chapter 5 is the liquid oral preparation in this we are going to study the solution syrup elixir emulsion suspension dry powder for reconstitution and the next point we are going to study in this chapter is the topical preparations okay in the topical preparation we are going to study about the ointments creams paste gels liniments and lotions then suppositories and pastries so in this fifth chapter next point we are going to study is the nasal preparations and ear preparations and the next point that we are going to study is the powders and grinds in this we are going to study about the insufflations dusting powders effervescent powders and effervescent grinds and the next point that we are going to study is the about sterile formulations in this we are going to study about the injectables then eye drops and eye ointments then the next point in this fifth chapter we are going to study is about the immunological products in this we are going to study about the sera vaccines as we all are aware about about the vaccines okay sera vaccines toxoids and their manufacturing methods so the next chapter that is sixth chapter we are going to study about the basic structure layout sections and activities of pharmaceutical manufacturing plants okay then the next point we are going to study in this chap chapter is the quality control and quality assurance in this we are going to study the definition and concepts of quality control and quality assurance okay we are going to study the, about the definition and concepts of quality control and quality assurance then current good manufacturing practices that is cgmp then the next point is the introduction to the concept of calibration and validation so these points we are going to study in the 6th chapter then last chapter in this pharmaceutic subject is the novel drug delivery systems okay so in this chapter we are going to study about the introduction to the novel drug delivery systems then classification of novel drug delivery systems with examples and the advantages of novel drug delivery systems and the challenges so total seven chapters are there as we have seen in this presentation for the pharmaceutical subject the new syllabus okay hope you all have understood this so thank you for your patience listening if you like this video then press like button and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for latest updates and videos in the next video we will see about the practicals okay practicals that are to be conducted in the pharmaceutics practical okay pharmaceutics subject practical so thank you for your patience listening keep learning